Hi everyone, we are moving on to the next major project. We are gonna be focusing on abstract expressionist paintings. And yes, these are gonna be large scale paintings focusing on abstract art. Now, you may remember this sheet from when we did the shoe paintings. We had an abstract background. Abstract is focusing on line, shape, form, color, texture, all the elements of art, okay? Um, today, you're gonna start a big drawing using a circular design. So these are abstract expressionist paintings using a radial format, and radial means circular, okay? Um, you have a checklist on your sheet today. Number one, you need a variety of line, shape, and three-dimensional form. You need overlapping images, big and small images, straight and curved shapes, and try really hard to use all the elements of art, line, shape, color, texture, value, form, space. Um, this is an example from last year, seventh grade, and it pretty much has all or most of the elements of art. There's line, shape, color, there's form, three-dimensional form, there's overlapping, things look like they're on top or underneath something else. So you wanna have all of those different parts. Really simple today, you're gonna start with a big circle that you get to trace. So you trace your circle on the big paper then you just simply start drawing. I'm gonna start with a Sharpie, but I want you to start with a pencil and then you get to outline everything later. Then we will start painting using at least five or more paint colors. So real simple, be creative and just start creating all kinds of imaginative shapes all in your circle. You want to fill your space as much as possible. Don't forget about those three-dimensional shapes like cube, cone, cylinder, prism. All of those things are three-dimensional. So you just want to work really hard today to be creative and fill in your circle with all different types of shapes. Now, yes, you can also use things that are somewhat realistic. Like you can see the little emoji smiley faces in here. You can, there's a little fish. If there's things that you want to include in your painting that are somewhat realistic or something that you can recognize, that's perfectly fine. So that type of example, I might wanna do some type of abstract flower to go with shapes okay so basically have fun be creative fill up your circle with as many different types of things as you can today all right let's do this